Hi, my name is Oliver and welcome to our Canada channel. This video is going to be about accessories that goes on our modular gangway. If you want to learn how to assemble modular gangway or modular handrail, please uh, take a look at the description below because I've made two separate videos for them. Now that being said, here's a list of the accessories that we're going to cover today. Okay, so I've put links in the description below, so if you don't want to watch the whole video, you can jump straight to the accessories you want to install. So once you unbox the ground anchorage, you're going to find two posts. We uh, provide the, the two posts that you're going to need with a rubber cap to go at the end. You're going to have two aluminum plate that it will go underneath here. Uh, one on each side and of course all the hardware that you're going to need. So for the purpose of this video uh, I will put the gangway on the side so you can see uh, what I do. Okay so now what you want to do is to insert two nuts, two brass nuts just in the notch here. You can bring them all the way to the front. We're going to take the aluminum plate with two bolt and two lock washer. And we're going to just by hand. We now take this Allen key. and we tied it like that. We're going to be able to pile the pipe into the ground so the gangway will not move. Okay, so we have the pile support here. Uh, these are sold separately. They do not come in pair. They all have the uh, hardware mounted on it. As for the installation, it's really simple. First, we're gonna take the nut, the brass nut out. Like that. And we're going to mount them on the track here. Now you can slide these wherever you need the, the pile support to be mount. Uh, I'm going to put it right there for the video. After that, you can adjust the angle that you need, depending on the angle of the gangway. And once this is done, you take the Allen key, and you fix it in place. For the modular start angle, what you're going to find in the box is the start angle itself, two mounting plates, and a bag of hardware. Now, we're going to install the mounting plate first. We're going to put the brass nut in the notch here. We're going to use two lock washer with two bolt. Slide it to the end. Do the same thing with the second plate. Now we want to make sure that those plates are at the good spot. We haven't tightened them yet. Just try to fit the start angle and make sure See, now that fits perfectly on, on both sides. Go ahead now and take the uh, Allen key to tighten this up. Now we're going to put the dowel back in.
and we finish off with the cutter pin. So these are the modular cam dock hinges and that's what you're going to find in the box. Two mounting plates, two inches and a bag of hardware that you're going to need to install this. We're going to start with the four brass nuts. We're going to insert them on a notch here in the front, two on each side. Now we're going to mount our plate. Next step is to measure what width you want. Uh, at Kendock we usually do 19 inches or 38 inches. You can measure from the middle. So if you want 38 inches, I'm going to measure 19 inches here, 19 from the center, and it's always in the middle here of the bushing, just to make sure I'm going to measure again, and I have 38 to the middle there. So now we're going to use the Allen key. We're ready to put inches on. Once you've opened your linkit box, this is what you should find inside. Four mounting plate, two dowels, and a bag of hardware that you're going to need to install this. Link kit are used to join two gangways together. Since we only have one gangway here, I'm going to install half a kit. We're going to start with the brass nut. There's the notch here in the middle. Insert the brass nut. Two on the left. And two on the right. Now take one boat with uh, the lock washer. We have not tied them yet. It's because we're going to be able to move them from left to right. Make sure that they're going to match the plate that you're going to put on the other gangway. Try to put them as far apart as possible so it's going to be more stable. Once you have the plate on the other gangway, You'll use the dowel just to connect them together like this with the counter pin. Okay, here's the slider for the modular gangway. Um, it is made out of plastic, HDPE, same material as our cube, and it is specially designed to fit underneath the track, so uh, no tools required, only to slide it underneath. If your gangway is already uh, assembled like this one, you will actually need to take out the, be the beam in the front here, uh, because the slider won't fit with the corner in. Once your beam is removed, you're going to take the slider and just slide it in the track like that. Then you put the corner so it will not go anywhere and you place it back here. Really simple. So in the box you're gonna have the transit plate here, uh, two corners specially uh, designed with an aluminium bracket welded on it aluminum angle here with the hardware to go with it. First step is that we're going to replace the corners where we want the transit plate to be installed with the two corners. There's one left and one right.
Once the corners are in place, the next step is going to put the corner here with the hardware. We're going to put it in the middle there. We start by inserting the brass nut in the little notch here. Once we know we are in the middle, go ahead and tighten that. Now we're ready to install the transit plate, but there's a little set screw here. Just gonna take it out with a smaller Allen key. And now we can put the set screw back in. The set screw acts as a blocker. So now it cannot move. And this angle here, it's uh, just to prevent the aluminum transit plate to bend because it's a four foot long. And uh, if you apply some, a lot of weight here, it might bend. So the, the corner here just prevent that. All right, that's it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.